and welcome back to my magical channel. I'm going to do a little haul because I haven't done one in a hot minute and I kind of like hauls because it speaks a lot of volumes about the, the person and what they're into at that moment in time. Also, I kind of wanted to do a haul because everything I bought Yes, everything I bought was in store and it's the first time I've been to um, a shopping centre since the whole lockdown thing started. So it's kind of like a way of celebrating I can actually get out and about. So went to a few places, went to Lush, went to Superdrug, went to Hobbycraft, went to Body Shop. Yes, they are the four places I went. So let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm actually really annoyed at myself right now. I got two bath bombs from Lush. This one, I, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it was I got. Was it Twilight? I don't think it was Twilight. No, I remember, I remember, ha <laughs> ha. It was Dragon Egg. I've had Dragon Egg before, it's always around. It smells kind of perfumey. I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted it because I've been feeling in quite a, a magical uh, mood, arcane mood, arcanic, arcane, arcane mood recently. Um, so I thought, why not? The other bath bomb I got was groovy, kind of love, if I can open it up, which this one Oh my goodness, this one smells amazing. My whole room has been stinking of this. So it's basically like, oh, I just need a bit. Um, <laughs> it basically smells like really strong black currant sweeties. I love the smell. And the last thing I got in Lush was this shower gel. It's called, I can't remember if it's called Oh Nana or just Nana. But it's a yellow shower gel and it literally smells like, oh my goodness gracious me, just creamy, creamy, cakey, caramelly goodness. It's really, really good. Uh, going into Lush right now, because of all the restrictions due to the monster, you're not actually allowed to pick things up and sniff them, which is why I just went for two bath bombs I know and trust because you're not really allowed to pick things up and sniff them. I did pick this up and sniff it because even if I wasn't like in love with the smell, I still would have bought it because this shower gel, I've never heard of it before. It seems relatively new and I like to try new things. There didn't seem like there was a lot of uh, new bath bombs in store, but that's probably be to be expected right now. Okay, then I popped into Superdrug. A Superdrug is just normal. There's probably hand sanitizer and whatnot in every shop like there is, but I wasn't aware of it, but there probably is because that's the rules. I have been really into makeup again recently. I fell out of it for a long time and I think that was due to lockdown, but even before lockdown, I was in a bit of a hump with makeup. And now I'm back into it and I've discovered a new makeup brand called Makeup Revolution. So, of course, I went into Superdrug and I bought a couple of Makeup Revolution things. So I bought, I don't know which one's which, unfortunately. I bought two eyeshadow palettes, the Makeup Revolution Flawless Birds of Paradise and the Makeup Revolution Flawless Constellation palette. So one of them, the Birds of Paradise, um, has a lot of yellows and greens and blues, a lot of tropical colours and the Constellation palette has a lot of purples and reds and greys and browns. So a lot of darker colours. I'll show you them both quickly since I don't know which one's which. So this one's still got its cover on it. There's that one, and then this one, which has also still got its cover on it. 
I've only used the Birds of Paradise one once and I loved it. Uh, the colours are not super pigmented but not not pigmented. They're, as far as I'm concerned they're the perfect balance. They're not dusty, they're, they're a really nice texture and the best thing about this uh, makeup brand is both of these palettes, £12. £12. I have never met a makeup brand that's so cheap but not rubbish so it's safe to say I'm falling head over heels in love with Makeup Revolution and I also picked up I also picked up a face primer from Makeup Revolution this is just um, it's a pink bottle and the primer itself is pink and it's radiance there was other ones, there was a black one and I think they all did different things. I picked the pink one because I do have pink undertone skin so I thought this was the safest bet. I've only used this once but I quite like it and I do like the packaging. The packaging is like really soft and my mum says it's bright baby pink. Again, really affordable and right now on Beauty Bay Superdrug and I think Revolution's own site, there's a, a 3 for 2 deal going on, so go, go, go. Oh, guys, the sun is shining on my neck here, and I am, whew, warm. The only thing I got from Body Shop was the... Body butter and strawberry, I have to sniff it because oh, I love Lush, but when it comes to body lotion, I'll always go to the body shop because nothing beats just a big tub of body butter. Whereas Lush, they don't really do tubs of body lotion, it's more they do massage bars and things like that. And I just no, oh, I love the smell of this. So, yeah, I needed. Well, I didn't need new body lotion. I wanted new body lotion and I have used it a few times and I just, yeah, there's, there's not much more to say on that. The last couple of bits I have to show you are from Hobbycraft and you're probably wondering, they seem quite strange things to buy, but I will explain. So the first two things I got was lusters. I got a, a gold one and a red one. If you don't know what lusters are, they are... So they're edible, they're traditionally used in baking, but I have other plans for them. And the good thing about lusters is it, they work as glitter. So you would just put them on top of your icing fondant or whatever it was and they, they work as glitter. But the reason why I wanted lusters and not glitter is because my plan is to put them into drinks because glitter does not show up in drinks. It kind of just all falls to the bottom whereas luster stays up, if that makes any sense. And you're probably wondering, why do you want to put them into drinks? I don't want to talk about it too much in this video, but all will be revealed in a later video for sure. Also, to go along with the whole creative and doing things funky with drinks, I got two food colourings. I got a dark purple one and a dark blue one. But the thing I love about food colourings is, even though these two that I'm holding up right now, they're really, really dark blue, really, really dark purple. If you wanted, like, pastel blue or purple, you would just put the tiniest drop into liquid and it probably would come out that way. This isn't mine, so the last thing I've got to show you, I thought, why not? It's actually uh, my boyfriend's, he bought it in Hobbycraft as well and he left it in my bag. It's fake blood! Again, to go along with the same kind of theme as I'm going with with my lusters and my food colouring, yeah, me and him have got something planned, hopefully next year, which is really exciting, so there are your hints. Try and guess, although I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't guess. But that's everything for this little mini haul. I did have a quick look in the Disney store in the Glasgow Fort, which is still around. I think it's now a permanent building. But again, there's just there's nothing really in the Disney store that's taking my fancy these days. I still love Disney, if my top couldn't tell. 
um, it's just that I'm more interested in Disney websites such as Truffle Shuffle. They seem to have more cool and more reasonably priced things than the Disney store actually has, which is sad, but what are you going to do? I wish Truffle Shuffle had a physical shop you could go to. Anyway, I'm Ramley. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'm now at 199 subscribers. One more, one more. And I'll talk to you in a future video. Bye guys!